Hi everyone, Liz here, thanks for stopping by. So today I've just got an idea of how to use up some of your spare drills, diamonds, crystals, resin ring drills, whatever you've got uh, left over from your diamond painting kits, cards, um, little projects that you've done. And if you're like me, I've got thousands left over and I don't like to throw anything away. So these are a really good way of using them up. Now these are the Craft Buddy Crystal Art Stamps and um, they do do an awful lot of the stamp. Let me just get the Craft Buddy catalogue there and if you go towards the back, um, if you do put an order in with Craft Buddy, there is an option on the website to tick to add one of the catalogues um, to your order so you can just get an idea of what they do. Um, a lot of the items that are available are in here. The new stamps aren't in here at the moment, the flower stamps that I'm just going to show you, but these are some of the previous stamps that they've done, um, a couple of which I have got, and there's some ideas on using them there as well. So quite handy to have that. If you join the uh, Craft Buddy Facebook group, I'll put a link down below, um, then you can actually um see other people using their stamps as well but i've been having a play and i've been really really pleased with them okay so rubber stamping uh sorry about that i just uh, hope you just needed me for something so this is one of the um stamps that i've stamped out and i've used up some of my crystals and some of my uh b5200 abs and just some little black uh rhinestones there yeah and just uh, done a nice little tiger head and I can now use that to mount it on a card um, or put it on a notebook. Um, what I'm planning on doing is sealing this and then putting it onto um, a mask box. There's quite a few you can get uh, quite uh, reasonably priced little uh, face mask boxes um, and they're just very plain so I thought I might just stick that on there and gift them to uh, some of the family because uh, we are Tigers supporters and um, our soccer team Hull City uh, AFC are the Tigers that's their nickname because their strip is black and amber so yeah I'm uh, possibly going to do that with some of those but yeah, that's just printed onto some card um, and I've used honeycomb pro marker on that and just added all those little gems um, with my premium quality craft glue there with the little if you can see it's got the precision tip on it there as well we'll show you how i've done that we'll have a go at just doing a few if you would like a full view of doing a whole stamp then i will do that as well but this is just a brief overview at the moment so this was the first uh, sticker set a sticker set this was the first stamp set that i bought oh dear i'm thinking of stickers <laughs> and uh, they come in nice packaging i've put this in my wallet because i keep it in my craft uh, stamp storage and you get an elephant tiger there's a phoenix there some words some little flowers look that you can see they're all numbered to use your gems and like a border there as well and then the just for you there has set little uh, holes there as well to put your crystals now i have used this quite a bit so it is uh, not brilliantly clean and um, I don't know if you can you can more or less see it. I wonder if I take uh, that off. No, you can't quite see it through there. I've not got it quite lined up. Um, the stamp actually, the cover sheet has, as you can see it's pre-printed. So you just put your um, stamp back. There you are, you can see that better. If you go to that little flower, it just uh, then goes back onto the so yeah they're a clear unmounted stamp so you can either mount them onto uh, mount foam for stamping or you can use uh, just straight onto an acrylic block um, or use a stamping platform i've got a stamping platform that i like best to be fair so that's the tiger this is one i got at christmas this is the owl and the robin and um, we've got some feathers there and a candy cane as well a little walking stick candy cane so that's the else. As you can see, they're really a good size stamp there. Let's just measure the owl. I'll just give you an idea of the size of the owl. Let's say it's not something that 
and brilliant that is rubber stamping it's something i have struggled in the past uh, that one is roughly just under five inches which is about 12 centimeters so is a good size um, and i have printed the owl out on two this is uh, an a4 piece of card and as you can see i'm just halfway through doing him i've just done some of his set of feathers there and i've just folded it in half so that's like a, a c5 uh, a5 size card there and as you can see i've got the letters to do just for you there and the gems to put on around his hat and everything but so uh, just been having a play um, and I did it on two rather than colouring the background in I did this on two um, like your craft card so it's just that little bit different colour just a little bit more earthy for an owl but yeah just you can do all sorts of things with them but it, again brilliant for using up um, all your different uh, gems right so that's that we'll just have a quick look at the different stamps this is one that i've just got that i've not used yet so as you can see this is all your wording you've got thank you best wishes uh, mr and mrs with love on your wedding day you can make up your own um different sayings there uh, we've got happy birthday to you if you want to add that congratulations to you uh, congratulations mr and mrs on your wedding day uh, congratulations best wishes whatever you want to do um, but yeah, again, good big size stamps there. That happy birthday. Where did I put my tape measure? There it is. Oh, and that's my glue just falling off. <laughs> that happy birthday is five and a half inches long, which is 14 centimetres long. By, let's have a look. The B is just over an inch, which is about two and a half centimetres. So yeah, good size stamps there and you can just, with any of your um, crystal art cards that you've done, if you want to make them a little bit bigger, you can add uh, your letters onto there as well. Okay, so that's that one. And then the newest ones that have just come out are the flower stamps. Now I have stamped these out so you can see them. Um, again, these are on um, an A5, a size piece of card. So. The first one is the lily, which is that one. And again, you get here for you always, your wording to stamp out. And that's your lily. And that's it stamped out. Excuse that one. I uh, stamped it out the wrong way up. <laughs> Told you I'm no good at stamping. But you can literally do these in any colour that you like. And the best thing to do is to colour them in colour the background in with your pro markers, your alcohol alcohol markers. Um, craft Buddy do do a set of um, alcohol markers, but at the moment they've not got them in stock. Um, or at the time of making this video, they've not got them in stock anyway. Uh, but they will be getting them back if you keep checking. Um, and yeah, you can colour them in whatever colour you want to match whatever gems you've got. So that's how, again, nice big size stamps. That one is... Uh, 11 centimetres which is four and a half inches which again you know good size stamp there so that's the lily let's say that one's that one stamped out then we've got now then this is the peony uh, peony posy crystal it's called and that's that one you can see they do on the um, reverse of the packaging give you some ideas of how to colour in but it's entirely up to you what colours you do do with these in and that's the stamp beautiful inside and out the wording says and I do like the leaves on this one I think I'll be using those leaves an awful lot and again that's the size of the stamp probably um, the same size as the other one let me have a look widest part yeah we're about nine and a half centimetres just three and three quarter inches so yeah a good size on that one so that's the peony and then we have the sunflower which i think has been one of the most popular and again they've done different colors there with the brown in the middle but you could i mean to be honest you could just color these in if you wish you, you don't even need to put your gems on but uh, my idea for getting them um, is just to use up my gems and then that one says sending sunny smiles on there 
And again, a good leaf on that one. Oops. Just pick that out there, look. So that's your sunflower. Nice big sunflower. Now, I mean, you can, if you're good at stamping, you can directly stamp these onto your project. Um, I've stamped them out because I'm not brilliant at stamping. And then I want to cut them out as I have done with my tiger. So I can then use them as a topper on a project rather than um, stamping. Uh, I've been to a few stamping classes um, and one of my friends who's had her own company making um, stamps has tried to teach me stamping, but yeah, I'm not brilliant at it. I'll stick to diamond painting, but uh, I'm combining it with these. <laughs> I can cover over my mistakes with my diamonds. Again, that one is about four inches, which is 10 centimetres, which is lovely, good size. And I do like sending sunny smiles. As you can see, you've just got your little gaps there. Just adding some little gems. You know, you can mix and match these. You can put whatever you wear, words you want with whatever. It's entirely up to you. But they do give you the ideas. So that's the sunflower. And then the final one. Oops, if I can just find the stamp of it is there now then this one is a hibiscus but um naomi who's uh, designed these uh, stamps has um turned this into a poppy by not putting these is it stamen in the middle she's just colored it and made it into a poppy so you don't see that middle bit she's just colored that over with black so you can use this and i think i'll be using these as poppies as well Again, that's a colour reference and then you can layer these up as well. You could do two or three layered up together. Cut this one out and put it on top of that one, you know, whatever you want to do. And it says thank you for your kindness on that one. As you can see, they do stamp out really well, nice and clear. And you can see where all your little rounds are and they're all sized out so that you can use your uh, resin drills, your, your gems on those. Okay, so that's that one. So that's all the flowers that I've stamped out. Now uh, I'll just quickly, I've shown you the tiger. Okay, and then that's the elephant, which is also, now these use the bigger gems. So if you've got bigger gems that are left over from your projects, I think you can see on there, look, on my tiger. Oops, let's just see if we can see him. I've got some bigger gems that are on his ears. Um, that I've used up so you know as I've done all my different ones I've got different things that I've used up there these do tend to use the bigger ones but again you could just colour it in or you could put glitter glue or anything you want on these um, but yeah I've got my elephant left uh, yet to do so that's those and uh, yeah and then that's the robin and the uh, owl again that I've printed out there so really Good. I think we'll have a go. What shall we stamp out? Shall we stamp out a flower? And I'll show you how the stamps work. This could all go horribly wrong. As I say, I'm not a brilliant stamper. Let me just put these stamps away. But a stamp platform is um, a good way to go. If you're uh, good at stamping, you probably don't need one. But I'll put those over there as well. What shall we do? Let's stamp out a sunflower okay so this is just some uh, stamp pad that i've got you can use whatever stamping card you like obviously okay let's just put that on one side it's just a little thing that i had to hand when i was doing this now i do have let's say a stamping platform because i tend to find that i'm not brilliant on the pressure either when I'm stamping or you can use your clear acrylic block you do need a quite a big block for these stamps because they are large so I'll just peel that off the back in okay and if they do find that these get um dusty or they're not sticking just rinse them um with a little bit of warm soapy water not hot just warm very quickly and you'll get your tack back again on them yeah, you can see there, look, that's where you can put your stamp back. It just gives you your guide as well there. Okay, so you can either, as I say, put it onto your acrylic block and stamp directly. They're a self-cling stamp, so 
and you can just stamp directly but I do like to use my stamping platform because then if I've missed a bit with them being a bigger stamp then uh, I can get that bit done okay so I'll put my paper on here the card I'm printing on too as I say if this was a card front you can position it wherever you want if you want it in the middle or at the top or whatever um, then you can do but I'm going to put this to the side because I want to put more than one on so put it drill down this is the area that you're wanting to stamp so put it down that way first pop your stamp platform on and then that has now stuck there and now I can just ink it up I've just got a little uh, VersaFine ink pad that I've been using it does stay in your stamps this one unfortunately oops that's my glue just falling obviously yeah, stamping a bit more vigorously than i thought just lots of light tapping over the top of the stamp okay see if we've covered the whole area but the brilliance with this is even if you haven't and um, you can go in and re-stamp so then it's just a case of fold the lid back and stamp down and this doesn't allow any of the edges to go onto your paper and then lift up yeah and we've missed the middle bit look so we'll just go back in and do another little bit of stamping we've missed a couple of those edges as well not quite stamped in the middle okay so for somebody like me who's not brilliant at stamping this is a great way to do a stamp because you can just keep going back in and going back in if you're not very good at stamping okay so another good press you can use one of your rollers your brayers if uh, you like on these as well that quite often helps okay give it a good push down there okay and there we have a nice perfect stamp ready to color in and get started putting your gems on right so that's that all stamped so we'll take that off take that off there it needs a clean but I'll just put it back on its little uh, cover for now and, uh, oh I always like to put them back the right way as well if I can <laughs> I'll just put that on there for now okay and then what you do is just grab some colour markers see if we can find the colour Matches that one's that one is gold. Let's see, does gold? Yeah, okay. And what I've done is as well, I've got some of my spare crystals out here. So I think that'll probably yeah look quite good. So I'll just tip and I'll just show you quickly how you can do this. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is we'll just colour, I'm not going to do any shading or anything, I'm just going to colour this flower and just do the one petal to show you. And because these are alcohol markers and I've used the VersaFine stamp pad, the colours aren't bleeding, that's quite dark but that's okay. Um, I can always go in and do some shading or whatever to later date. I'm just going to write on here gold so that I know which one I've used so when I put it back in my box I'm not going to lose it and then all I'm going to do is oops get my little gems in my tray there you just use my very fine tip on my glue and just put a little blob oops I'm just going to put a little blob on each part where the gem needs to go so you're basically creating your own little canvas okay so you can use your resin drills but i've got a lot of the gold sparkly ones left over as you can see so i want to use those okay I'll just put the pin back in my glue to keep it uh, if i can see it oh dear right stand that there just grab my Pen. you can either use your pen 
or your tweezers you could also actually use your sealer as well if you wanted to just use your very t fine tip brush and put sealer on there um, and that would work the same as your glue and then all I'm going to do is uh, pick up my gem and put it onto the glue and hopefully it will come off I've just put new oops gosh can't see very well either I have oh, put that upside down I have put new glue uh, sorry new wax in my pen so it's very um, sticky at the moment so that's a new one down there and I am having to concentrate because I've not got my glasses on and I've not got my magnifying glass so I can't see very <laughs> but yeah as you can see and the glue will dry clear and so it's just like a way of making your own canvas and I am using up all these spare drills which is marvellous which I'm really impressed with and I've got Millie eating something under the desk so I do apologise if you can hear eating it isn't me just picked up two there okay and that one, that one there. Okay, it's uh, very therapeutic. This, so I'm going slowly. I would normally go a little bit quicker, but it doesn't matter. It's your project, you can go whatever speed you like. But uh, yeah, I mean, I'm normally a bit faster, but I can't see very well. <laughs> There are quite a few different colours in these crystals as well because what I tend to do when I've got a lot of crystals left over is just do best match. So these match the best and uh, these are what are all in one bag which when you're doing something like a flower you do want a little bit of variation. Uh, oops, I've got another one stuck there, look. It does just help. Oh, there's just one more there. Another one there, I can't quite see. I do apologise, as I say, I'm not uh, got my glasses on, so I'm not uh, seeing very well. I should have brought my magnifier upstairs while I'm filming. But I mean, you can always add extra ones if you want, so they will all now dry clear. And uh, yeah, that's my. I think that one's come off. Hang on, just put another one on there. I'm not demonstrating these brilliantly, am I? <laughs> Oh, there's another one there. Look, I can see a little blob of glue there. That's it. Okay. Has that one come off? Yeah. They've all got... Oh, no, that one's missed. Oh, put that one there. That's it. Okay. You can leave your glue to go a little bit tacky as well before you do it, but yeah. So, yeah, you've got your little sunflower there. And once you've completed it, you put black or very dark brown in the middle. Uh, and then you can cut it out and use it for whatever you like. But uh, yeah, I think that's quite a, a good way of using up. Gosh, I'm dropping everything. Using up crystals. And as you can see, I've got a lot to use up. So I'm going to finish this one off now. Um, I will let you see them when they're finished. And as I say, if you would like to see a little bit more, see me uh, doing a whole flower or do a whip and chat, I can quite easily do that. And um, we can do a whole lot and I can show you what I've done with them next as well but that's just a little overview of the stamps that I have and the new uh, four lots of uh, flower stamps that have just come out and uh, yeah brilliant okay well thanks for watching I hope uh, <laughs> I've not put you off stamping for life and you've enjoyed seeing this little bit uh, if you have, please press the like button. If you've got any tips on stamping for me, then feel free uh, to pop them in the comments down below. But with that, I'll uh, leave you alone. And thanks for watching. Press the subscribe button if you want to see a bit more. And I'll see you all again soon. Bye for now.